This is Zach Gray and we are shooting in the city in direct sunlight and making the photos look incredible. So one of the big challenges that we had photographing here in the city is one, there's a lot of people walking around. Two, it's, it's hard to be able to back up and find enough space to just shoot something, but we found this incredible background where we had this really, really bright sunlight hitting it. The problem was the location where we wanted to put our subject or our bride was also in that direct sunlight, so the light did not look incredible at all. So what we needed to do was use an off-camera flash that had enough power to overpower it and make sure when that light came out, it was soft and pretty, so it looked really great for a bridal shoot. So we had our Westcott XXL modifier with double diffusion on it, slightly feathered off, pointed at our subject off to about a 30 to 35 degree angle to camera right. And then we powered that up to one stop brighter than the ambient light. The way that I do that is I simply know that when the direct sun is coming out at ISO 100, one one hundredth of a second, direct sun uh, aperture will be f16 always. So as long as I'm at that power setting with my flash, which I'm checking with my light meter, or a little bit brighter, I'm gonna be able to darken down that ambient light if I just raise my shutter speed faster than a hundredth of a second, or have a little bit more power than that coming out of my flash. So that's what we did. We were at f22, um, and then I put, as you can see, my ND filter on the front of my camera. I did that so that I could knock down the overall exposure by three stops. This is basically just sunglasses for your camera. It's a very, very simple tool. Knocks down the overall exposure, so I was able to shoot it at f5.6. And then we photographed the shot. We get this amazing looking light in the background, this beautiful light on our subject. And that's how we did it. Really, really simple. If you enjoyed these photos with this bride and you want to learn more about how to shoot amazing wedding photography, click the link below to learn more.